Good morning, planet Earth. Uh, so it's uh, three in the morning, and I'm going to be going to bed very soon. And this is an improvement uh, over my sleeping habits as of late. Uh, I have been going at about four in the morning due to a variety of circumstances. Um, basically, exams and problem sets in conjunction with each other were sufficient to throw off my sleep schedule to the extent that it has been difficult to recover from. Um, so, you know, baby steps. Three tonight, six tomorrow, but not actually, because that would be a significant jump, too significant of a jump, regardless. Um, so, I, I've noticed that I've had a lot of new subscribers recently, and uh, a lot of these people have questions. Um, about what my major is and such. Um, so, I'm a senior at MIT. I'm majoring in physics. I'm minoring in political science. I have in front of me, actually, I have the form um, that says I am a minor in political science. I just recently filled this out. Hooray! Um, they ask me, a lot of you ask it if I'm applying to grad school and what, what are my plans are for next year. I am not applying to grad school. Uh, the plan is to go into teaching. Uh, I'm going to teach high school physics and or math uh, next year. Um, and that also answers the question of what my career aspirations are. It is to teach. Um, so hopefully that satisfies that. Um, in other news, I have had my first exam of my senior year, uh, which was chemistry, 512, um, organic chemistry, and it went all right. Um, I, this is a class that, uh, actually this is an update too, um, I put on junior, senior, PDF. Now at MIT, there are the options built in every single year um, to allow for exploration. Um, they, the, the MIT administration um, does not want students to, uh, you know, feel super locked into the major they're doing and not take time to, you know, explore other subjects. A lot of MIT students are very intellectually curious and would like to take subjects that maybe are not in their major. Um, but if they're concerned about, you know, ruining their GPA or something, be if they explore a class, uh, then there are things built in. Um, so freshman year, you have... Uh, pass no record for a semester where you either get a P, if you get an A, B, or C, you just get a P for a pass for the class, uh, and if you fail the class, you get a no record, which means there's no record that you ever, ever even took the class. Uh, and then in the spring, you're on a, what are you on? Uh, you're either on PDF, all your classes are pass, D, or fail. No, I think it's A, B, C, no record. A, B, C, no record. One or the other. I think it's A, B, C, no record. You can look at I have another video that talks about that somewhere. Um, but sophomore year, you have the best thing ever, which is sophomore exploratory, where you take a class, designate it sophomore exploratory, and then after you've finished the class and get the grade, you have until the following semester's add date or drop date to decide whether or not you want to keep the class. So I can, you know, take a class, get a C in it, and be like, uh, I think I'm going to drop that. And then it just vanishes the next semester if I feel like it. Or I could be like, yeah, I'll keep that. That's cool. Um, and then juniors and seniors have a total of two junior-senior PDFs that they can use throughout their entire junior-senior year. Um, so I have used zero so far, so I'm planning on using two this year. I might as well. Um, and this basically means that if you get an A, B, or a C, you get a P and you pass the class. Uh, and if you get a D or F, then, you know, you get a D or an F. Uh, so I PDF'd 512 chemistry because this is a class, oh, a, a string attached to this is that you cannot use this for subjects within your major uh, or GIRs or anything like that that count towards your graduation requirements outside of just being credits that count towards it. So 512 I'm just taking to fill up credits uh, and I need it as a prereq for the lab next semester. So even though the lab is required for my degree, I don't the, the prereq is, is not required for my degree, so I can designate this PDF. So, um, and the reason I did that is because, um, oh, water. I'm thirsty. I had some pizza tonight, and 
I haven't had much to drink, so I'm, I'm quite thirsty. I'm glad I have water here. Um, yes, so PDF, because I, as I mentioned in the previous video, I have a lot of reading this semester, which is just time-consuming. Um, so it is nice to know that I can put in the amount of effort that will get me a pass, as opposed to having to try to put in a large amount of effort to get an A or a B, because at this point, anything that is not an A will bring down my GPA. So I want to make sure that that doesn't happen. Now, my GPA is not perfect A, it's between A and B. Um, so that math says that if you don't get an A, then it will go down. Um, but regardless, uh, I was saying something. Um, yes. So I figure I will take, uh, you know, putting that much time in uh, to this class, which I don't need. Um, and honestly, I I don't care very much about. Uh, is 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 not much point to it. So because uh, I don't, I'm never, I don't need it for anything. I'm taking it because of the, for the prereq. Um, so I figure out, you know, I don't want this to take away from the time I'll be putting into classes that I do care about, such as, you know, the education class I'm in right now, which, because it's going to be my career, it would seem that I should put effort into taking the class. Um, so yeah, that's on PDF. Uh, I took my first exam. It was okay. Nothing stellar. I didn't do horrible either. Um, so it was fine. Uh, and then I also passed in my first paper um, for <laughs> for uh, STS-003, which is uh, The Rise of Modern Science. Um, I wrote the paper uh, in an hour the night before it was due, um, which is something that I, I don't necessarily recommend for a whole bunch of people. Um, I have discovered that I have a gift for writing papers very quickly under pressure also usually getting very good grades on them. Um, so, as such, that's what I do. I'm not saying it's the best thing to do, it's just how things happen. Uh, my mom would frown upon me. Uh, always try to get me to do things ahead of time. Uh, regardless, uh, I passed in that paper, um, and I'm sure it's fine. Uh, and then on Monday, I have uh, an 18440 exam, which is probability and random variables, and then next week I have another 512 exam because 512 has four exams and a final. That's a lot. I've never had four exams for an MIT class before. Usually it's three. 18440 has two, um, and 512 is like, oh, we're going to give you four. It, literally two weeks, I think. One, two, three. Yeah, no, it's three weeks between there. There's I have an exam, I had an exam on October 1st, and then another one on October 24th. That's like three weeks between the exams, it's silly, in my opinion. But, uh, yep, so I'm going to be studying very hard tomorrow for 18440, uh, and then studying next week for the next one. Uh, on the plus side, the reading in my education class is slowly coming to a close. Um, the teacher front-loaded the reading, so most of it was at the beginning of the semester, um, and as such, I only have one more night of heavy reading for that class, and then it kind of tapers off, uh, which is nice. I'll still have their assignments, but nothing that is in, as intensive as the, the the amount of reading I have to do. Um, and I, I still have reading for my STS class in 18440 and 512, which is just read, 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 read. So yeah, uh, that's that. Um, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. What else is there exciting to report on? I mentioned I was thirsty. This water tastes really good. Mmm! Eggnog. It's getting close to that... It's getting close to that time of year where eggnog comes out. And for those of you who haven't watched these videos before, I love eggnog. It's the greatest. One of the, it's one of the three things that grow on the tree of deliciousness. I have this theory that eggnog, chocolate, and taco seasoning grow from a magical deliciousness tree. This tree has leaves which can be ground up to produce taco seasoning. Its sap is, what was it? Its sap is eggnog, and chocolate is from its cocoa beans, I guess. 
I think I had a more convincing explanation if a tree and deliciousness itself was not super convincing in the first place. Regardless, I love eggnog and it's fantastic. Um, so it's going to be close to that time of year that they should have it. My hometown, or the, the store near my hometown, is selling it. But the, the, the store near MIT, the three stores that are at MIT, Matcon, Laverty's, and Shaw's, do not have it. This makes me very sad. My brother came up and visited last weekend, I think, and uh, he brought up eggnog from home, so I drank it, and it was really tasty, but now I'm out, and I don't have any more, and it's really sad. Um, so I eagerly anticipate the day when eggnog comes out again. Um, uh, and I think that is all. I'm not going to go on for too long. I already have. Uh, so, as per usual, like this video because I think it is a video of comparable quality to the others. Uh, in that its quality is not fantastic because I just talk. But apparently you guys like it, so it's cool. Um, and so if you like the video, subscribe to me if you haven't already. I've had a big influx of subscribers, so keep it up. I'm over 600. That's that's great. Let's let's get to a thousand. That would be that'd be cool if I could get to a thousand before I graduate. Um, and like and, and, and comment because uh, we've actually had some good discussions going recently on different comment threads. Uh, and you can find me. On my, I have a page on Facebook. Um, anyone who friend requests the actual me. I will say no to, not because I don't like you, but because all I do is look at the name and say, oh, I don't know this person, so I'm not confirming them. Um, but you can like my Facebook page, and then we'll be friends that way, and it will be very nice. Um, and you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, and that's about it, folks. So have yourselves a merry little Sunday, and I'll see you soon. Peace.